All right, so I am up here on Clark at the old Clark Air Base Hospital. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping in. Um, what's going on up here? Guys, they are re-renovating the old Air Base Hospital up here on Clark. They are making it into a National Museum of the Philippines. Here's what's posted. Here's a sign that's posted. Name of the project, Rehabilitation of Former United States Air Force USAF Hospital in Clark, Freeport, Pampanga, and conversion to a National Museum of the Philippines Central Luzon. This is phase one. Location, contractor, uh, date started, and contract costs, 195 million. 463,749.46 pesos. Phase one, this is phase one. You can look down through here, all the way down through and around the whole entire hospital. There is a fence line that has been erected. It's a construction site. Um, like I said, it goes all the way around. It is a rainy day, but it's rainy season. <laughs> So anyways, let me uh, give you an update on what's going on here. Here is your entrance now. Come in. There's a guard here all the time. Uh, here is your hospital. What I'm looking for, and we're going to go through and I'm going to show you some of the things that they've done. But my main objective is to get more information on the hospital. There are photos of the outside of the hospital. People, uh, videos of people coming up to the hospital, but there is no photos or very little photos and very little video of actual inside the hospital, what it looked like in its glory days. Um, so if anybody has any information out there, old videos, old photos, I would greatly appreciate it uh, to put it in the videos. This is history. We don't want to lose this history and thank God they are not tearing it down. I know from the outside, I've seen old photos from the outside here of the main entrance coming into the hospital. And I know from the photos, I did see a concrete seating, a seat that was outside. You could tell it was concrete. I think I may have found it. Uh, if it's not it, I'd be surprised, but there it is. That is the old concrete seat. I did try to move it. It is one piece. So that is here. Also, here's your workers. All your workers that are working here, they're staying here, they're sleeping here, they're eating here. This is their building that has been constructed uh, for them to work. So, all right, let me, uh, let me get out of this rain and we'll head inside and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so phase one, talking to the contractor, it's basically cleaning it up, sweeping it up, getting rid of the garbage on every single one of the levels here. Basement, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. I think there's five floors. Uh, they're cleaning it up. They're getting it ready. They're prepping it. Uh, but like I said, I want to know what this looked like. It's gutted. It has been gutted for years. There's nothing that shows what was what, where the rooms were and everything. But I'm here in the entrance. Here's your entrance here, right? And I'm looking at the entrance way. You can still see where a wall was or some type of structure that ran here. And it runs all the way down here in the entrance. You can see it. Then if you pan up, you can see here there was a structure there, something to hold this whole entire front end in place. This was air conditioned. From my understanding, it was air conditioned. Uh, you, you don't want a hospital that that uh, all the elements can come in. This was air conditioned. So this whole entire front end had to be enclosed, right? There had to be sliding doors or doors that open and closed that allowed people to come in and out. This is where I need your help. This is where I need those that have ton, done time here, uh, you know, even all the way up to Pinatubo. How was this? If you look up here, 
you can kind of see here maybe fluorescent lights were in there you can tell that that uh, it was electric there was electric in here because you can see some of the electric sticking out then you enter in now this is just my my take on what i think it looked like please correct me if i'm wrong as you enter i would say this whole main area right here was your lobby there's no tiles there's no nothing a few a few tiles right here a few tiles right here but i'm thinking this area here was your lobby where you sat where you came in all through here because i see no other kind of structures that would be here no floor no signs of any floor being here then you come up here was this where you met the receptionist all right you can see right here there was a room here it was all the way around you could see that this is me kind of trying to imagine what it looked like all right if you come around here you can see the floor structure comes right here right here right here all the way here and then stops right here then it's like an opening the floor structures here again was this a doorway that open and closed to go into a room i don't know that's why i'm asking you guys for your help uh, but they are like i said phase one is cleaning uh the contractor told me everything is it's all about cleaning uh, that's what they're doing now after that and also they're doing core samples to make sure it's structurally sound um, and i'm going to take you to an area right now that i've never seen until recently that they cleaned up so let's head over, over there boy it's raining and there's water everywhere here um but yeah as i'm walking through here too you can tell a wall was here there was something here definitely a wall right through here i would say this would be your main walkway like a hallway possibly um maybe doors that slid open and closed to take you into the next part of the hospital for those that may know here's a reference right here are your elevators right here is your elevators that went from the basement floor all the way up so here's your reference point was this the operating rooms were they back in here i don't know that's why i'm asking you guys for your help there's some tile here this obviously was a room one time uh, but i want to come back here here's some stairway here's a stairway that leads up through up to the top and down to the basement right down here was your emergency room sorry about the generator spitting some noise here was your emergency room those that know the emergency room this was the entrance to the emergency wing we'll come outside here and show you it is, a, it is a little rainy but i'm going to come outside and show you here here you go i know at one point there used to be a sign up there that said emergency i've seen old photos and i've seen an old video where that said emergency but this is what I wanted to show you. This is all new. I've never seen this cleaned up like this until recently. Check it out. Look at that. That, in the past, every time I looked down there, it was all grown up with weeds and trees and everything. So this is new to me to see this all cleaned up on both sides. There was your downstairs entrance down to your lower um, part of the hospital but boy they are they are cleaning it there's your wall you can't get in the only way to get in is through the front gate look at that that is the first time i've ever seen all that that's unbelievable never knew it existed i've looked down there in the past and and i've seen some big lizards down there and probably some snakes down there but one gentleman is cleaning it all up and I even asked him if he's seen any uh, lizards or snakes, and he said no. So there's the update. That's what's going on. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated as things progress. I, I know I did 
I was here on Saturday, uh, but I didn't have my camera. I wanted to come here and talk to the guys. Um, they are cleaning it up. I did go up to a couple of the floors. The stairways are all clean. The stairwells, uh, the flooring is all clean. Let me get a, away from that sound. The floors are all cleaned up. You know, you see concrete laying around like this. That will all be cleaned up. Um, that's phase one. But boy, do they have a lot of work to do. A lot of work between painting and electric and plumbing and all kinds of stuff. They have a lot to do here. This isn't a project that's going to take a year. This is, you're looking at years. Years for this to be done. Um, and I say, it needs to be documented. Each phase needs to be documented. Um, how things are progressing. Um, the guys here are very nice, very friendly. Like I said, they, they are staying here. They're cooking here, eating here, sleeping here, everything here. So I wish I could give you more, but that's kind of it. Clean up. They got to clean it up first. And like I said, pour samples to make sure it's structurally sound. So like I said, if anybody has any old video, please send it to me. Any old photos, please send it to me. I'm not talking about photos that you could grab off the internet, off a of Google image. I've seen it all. I've researched it all. So if you do have something, let me know. All the way up to 91. You know, um, my interest is, you know, Vietnam War because this was used heavily during the Vietnam War. A lot of sorrow, uh, a lot of sadness uh, happened in this hospital. So anyways, guys, like I said, I will continue to give you updates. That's the most I can give you right now. I wish it was a little more, a little bit more exciting, but uh, there it is. 